or coming to follow the training and legal solution. If you want the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at abovethetraining.org. All of our interviewers are from the top-notch companies, um, so we'll definitely help you a lot. And moreover, feel free to subscribe to our WeChat blog right here. Okay, today we're going to talk about this problem called the best time to buy and sell stock with cooldown. So Liquid already has like three problems regarding this buy and sell stock, essentially giving you an array, each array is the size, is the price, is the stock price of that day. And you cannot engage in multiple transactions, meaning you must sell before you actually buy again. And here, the only only thing different for this problem is, so after you sell your stock, you cannot buy stock on the next day. So meaning, so on your next day, so for your current day, you have only two options. One is you carry over the, your maximum from the previous one, or it's actually, um, so your previous day has transactions, so you can look one day ahead uh, before that to see the maximum. So this is essentially very similar to, uh, well, to the uh, maximal, I think it's called the maximal subarray, maximal subarray product uh, problem where you keep, remember, well, of course, this is DP because you cannot sort, you cannot, um, it's, it's uh, asking for the minimal, uh, max value. So it, it really fits into the DP category, right? Can sort maximal value and it's kind of all numbers. Um, and I kind of have an intuitive recursion function that we can use. And uh, um, what, what am I going to say? I think it's, oh yeah, it's very similar to that uh, uh, maximum summary product problem where you keep a positive and a negative uh, array to track. So this one is also the same. It's very hard to keep a one array. So basically we should keep a two array. One is called a buy. The other one is the um, sell. So essentially, it's not that straightforward. I mean, it's a little bit tricky. So uh, if you Google it, there's actually some quite good articles from Code explaining how to solve this. So essentially, I think the problem comes down into, um, so what is the state and what is the function? And what is the initial value? Okay, this is the main main part for DP requirement. So the state, I think, it's mostly so we have a buy i and a sell i. So this is the max profit if we buy before day i and. Here is pretty much the maximum profit we sell before day i. So basically, yes. So basically means on on day minus one essentially. What's the last? Uh, what is the last profit you decide to sell? Okay. Um. So so in that case, this is more like. So this will be the max of, so the max profit if we decide to, to buy before day, day i. So it should be i minus one. So if we, if the last, if the previous day there's no transactions, or it should be, um, What's the maximum profit? Because when you buy, you have to lose money, right? So this should be more like minus one. So think about it. So you're on your on day i. So basically, you are we're talking about i minus one. So i minus one. If we engage in in the transaction, if we do not engage, if we if the previously already engaged in transaction, all you need to do is carry over. If it's not, so what you can do is you you can actually. Uh, on the previous day you sell right so now you can buy again so the previous day sells largest value the maximum profit and then you buy again so similarly for sell on day i so basically i minus one so if you don't do anything if you already if you already sell you, you can't really sell again right so you have to just carry over the value or else it will be 
Um, so if you don't, if you already did, if you haven't really sell, so basically what you what you're gonna do is so. You, on this date, because you already buy it, you, all you need to, is to sell. So this is the value when you sell. This is the value you're gonna you're gonna get. So it's a little bit uh, awkward. So when you buy, this is no value. So let's just call it int dot mix minimal. And on day, because on zero that basically means day minus one, right? It doesn't make any sense. But day minus one. So this is actually your day one. So while you're day one, so what is the maximum profit? There's no maximum profit. So it's actually negative, right? So when you buy, you don't ha you don't you haven't really make any profit yet for sale. Um, and for sale, if you sell on day day zero, you can't really sell anything on day zero. So your profit is zero. So this is day minus one, and on um, what happens on day one? On day zero. So on day zero, if you sell, that means you buy already. So your profit is also zero. So with this set, so let's just quickly put up the code. Means it has has to have at least uh, two elements, right? All zero is default to zero. Okay. So the hardest part in DP is really think about the recursion function. It's not really about coding. Because you already have the relationship function. All you need to do is just translate the code, the function into code, right? Okay, great. Wrong answer. So output seven. Hey, how all this is output of seven expected three. So let's take a look at the code. Okay. 
Cell I equals two. Equal to crisis I minus one. 